Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to the shed. I'm Lonnie. Hey, I'm Candace. Welcome back. I just asked Candace if she had an interview today or something. I wonder if she's leaving the shed because she got a little dress, dressed up. No, so um, this local estate sale company had an appointment only um, like pop-up sale. And we went because um, it was like literally five minutes away. And it was like very nice things and um, a very nice house. And I just felt like fitting in. <laughs> so you got dressed up for I got, this is my version of dressed up <laughs> okay well you did buy something i did let me show y'all um we didn't we went expecting not to buy anything they had two vintage um early 80s cabbage patch dolls that um i wanted to lay eyes on and check out like where they were made to see if they were worth buying turned out not to be worth it um i did pick up this cookbook though turnip greens in the bathtub yum for five dollars it's like a 15 to 20 dollar book but i just i wanted to you know, I felt like I should buy something while we were there, you know, yeah. just why not for good, good, what uh, is the word I'm looking for? Networking. No, no. well, networking, what? yeah. Uh, anyway, yeah. yeah, that's what I bought. Yeah, we had been to one of, we, we got, we, we went to one of her appointment only sales before. And we bought a and, lot of stuff. And we bought a good bit of stuff at a good yeah. at good prices, so. That yeah. was a house that was crammed full of the type of stuff that we deal right. with. This was more like um, furnishings and nice home decor, um, just newer stuff, you yeah. know. Um, so yeah, I didn't expect us to come out of there with anything, but I found something. So anyway, um, we had really good orders last night. We sold on eBay and one thing on Etsy. And um, one thing we sold was actually five listings and she reached out to me and asked if I could make a deal with her. And we did, we came to a deal of, um, 150 plus shipping for these um, Ernestine Cannon vintage um, Italian platters and plates. Um, they're signed by the artist, and Lonnie's got them on the scale of it. Yeah, I got them right here. Candace pulled them so we could uh, weigh everything and yeah. kind of come up with an estimated shipping dimensions and weight you they're know. perfect little spring pattern like i'm ho hoping she's going to use them for easter they're so pretty um so yeah while we were at this estate sale this morning we were right by home depot so we went and loaded up on boxes right from there the moving boxes yeah but I, I like my 12 12 12s but i also need some larger ones from time to time and i was out of those yeah okay next item in the joe drawer it's a uh, belt buckle national rifle association okay we were going to have even more um, sales. I'll tell you about that here in a minute. Okay, this yeah. is it. 125 years? Um, yes. $10.79. This thing looks like it's brand new. NRA stuff, for the most part, uh, I found doesn't do very well. No, not because really. Because a lot of that stuff was uh, like member, like free little member gifts and stuff. And there's just a lot of it out there. Yeah, yeah. Um, some cast iron bathtub feet, 10 fox trot. Okay, that's different. Yeah. You want to come grab a couple of them? Yeah. Yeah, these guys are kind of heavy. They're very heavy. Um, well, they're cast iron. But... These came out of your vintage, um, like, you know, uh, what do you call it, salvage? And um, so these came from that $2,000 eBay store buy. Yep. They're interesting. Yeah. I imagine they're gonna like take all the paint off of them. Yeah, you see a sandblast and another paint. You know, yeah, that'll be good to go. They're still structurally good. Um, so those sell for thirty nine ninety nine. Are th those are are those going uh, EIS? I think they are. They are. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, we sold. We were down to after this. We're down to one pack of these batteries on nine Delta. The three packs. Okay. So let there me. Should be one three pack left. Let me count them up. Yeah, we're getting uh gonna have to did you bag the you came in and bagged them huh i don't think so you did because they weren't in bags before did i i yeah. did that oh i did because they were in a little box and i needed the box yeah okay so i bagged them um yes 41.99 for those uh cricker drawer the last weevilos patch i think Cricker himself bought one one of these. Yep, and there's the last one. Okay. Nine ninety nine for that. That's pretty good for a little patch. 
Yeah, it's a vintage one from the late 50s to the mid 60s. I don't know how you could tell. I guess you must have looked it up. Yeah. Hmm. It looks modern to me. I know. I, I, maybe the font. I don't even remember. <laughs> yeah, there must be a reason you put vintage. Okay, and then three Alpha Johnny Lightning Monopoly set of four cars. Three, oh, okay. It is this guy all the way up top. I had two of these. One was in a, one box was in pretty decent condition, and one box was pretty beat up. Were they produced the same year? This was this was the beat up box. You could see the wavy cardboard and what. Uh, I don't know. I would I would say I, I would guess it probably was because they both look like the same except they have different cars in them. Yeah, fourteen ninety nine for that. Okay. Uh, loose hot. Okay, the next order has four things on it. First thing in the alien drawer, a loose yellow and green Hot Wheels Toyota 2000 GT Japan Historics Real Riders. This guy right here. I already got it bubble wrapped and look, look at this label I put on. I'm gonna make damn sure I didn't mess that up. Yeah. <laughs> and then CC9 um, M and M's holiday ornament sets for Star Wars. Those are cool. They really are. CC9. I listed them both together, right? Yes. These little guys. These came from uh, got the the Hot Wheels by. Yep. We have Dark Side and the Force. You see all the little Eminem versions of the uh, Star Wars characters and Kmart. Yeah, the little Kmart, Kmart price tag on. Kmart. Them. K1 Bravo three Hot Wheels um sets, Star Wars sets. One Bravo. Oh yeah. Yep. These guys right here. These. these yeah. There's a. Uh, these are cool too. They, they weren't. They weren't worth a ton. As you can see, the the original retail was nine ninety nine on these two. Yeah. I imagine this wasn't a whole lot more. Right. But yeah. This uh, Death Star Battle Blast. And then Blast and Battle Lightsaber Launcher Darth Vader Edition with it is cool though because they do come with the cars. Right. The yeah. Darth Vader car, and then this is the Luke Skywalker car that's styled after the other one has a Luke Skywalker car too, right? This is uh, it's just called a Star War Star Star War Star Wars car. Yeah. Kind of looks like um kind of looks like an X-Wing fighter. That's what I that's what I think it's supposed to be. See the oh, yeah. blowing up the um that's cool. Yeah, it blows up the Death Star. Yeah, it looks like fun. Yep. Okay. All right, and then the last thing on this order is in Hobbit 46, it's a um, comic scenes heavy metal swamp thing. Hobbit 46? Yeah. Oh. Man, this, we sold so much out of this box. This box was this box is 100% full, and now I've got like a ton of room. Okay, comic scene. Okay, yeah, this is the one with. Uh, great, I just knocked something. Out. This is the one with uh, old Stan Lee on the cover. Yeah. This is like the first issue or whatever. Okay, so um, her four things together came out to ninety six dollars and ninety six cents. All right, you handed me the hat box. So. Yeah. Next order has a uh, orange Vans aircraft hat. It's right here. That's all for eleven dollars. Okay. Yep. I try and I told Candace this when the offer came in on that. I was like, you know, I hate like I'm not I'm not saying I'll take any offer on any hat, but uh Yeah. We we're pretty negotiable on hats usually just because they're kind of slow this time of year. It should start picking up now that spring's coming. That's true. Yeah. Yeah, no, hats do sell better in spring, spring and summer. Spring and summer, yeah. Yep. Um, let's see, CC two it has a three after it. It's a Hot Wheels split window Corvette. CC2? Yeah. It's like it's yellow and black. Oh, it's in. Okay. I have a whole container here. All right. I got them. Number three. Okay. Yep. I got them. CC2 number three. Huh? What kind of car is it? The split window 63 Corvette. Okay. Six collectors nationals. 
Yeah, uh, this is one of actually one of my favorite cars oh. for, that we bought. I, I just like the 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 paint scheme on it and everything. I think it's a oh yeah, it's a cool pretty. looking car, huh? Yep. It wasn't the most valuable, but it's it's definitely one of the cooler ones. That one sold for thirty nine ninety nine. They bought another one too, right? Yes. Is it in the same box? No. Okay. It's in the Joe drawer. All right, let me put these back up. The other one he bought is also from the um, Sixth Collectors National Convention. Um, it's in the Joe drawer. It's a 68 Nova SS. Evil Twin Flash Cider. It's not that one. Look at that. Let me see what it looks like. Hey, what color is it? Although I think it Silver might. Silver with maybe orange on the hood. I don't, I don't, I'm, I'm kind of dumb with cars. Oh, this is it. Oh, this is a nice looking Nova here. Look. Yeah. Yeah. That's it, right? Yeah. $64.99 for that one. Okay. Yeah. I wasn't using numbers at that point on the yeah. back. So I, I probably will go ahead and lay eyes on it just for the heck of it. Yeah. Before you. Get Look, this is a K3817. This is K3818. I didn't even see those numbers before. Uh, they have like a uh, MPM number or something. Yeah, something like that. Okay. And then our item on Etsy is a Fisher Price Little People Nursery School. It's on Ten Charlie. Okay. It's got the school, the roof, and it's not on Ten Charlie, is it? Oh, did I move it? I think I, I think I did move it. Where did I move it to? Okay, let me figure out where we put this thing. I bet you moved it on eBay, but not on. Uh, oh, we did move it. You probably moved it on eBay, but not on um, the other sites. Right. Let me go see where okay. we moved it to. All right. So on 5 Charlie. I had to look at the item on eBay. Yeah, right there. Okay. Is it? That, that's the bag good. of accessories. Okay. The roof and the building. Oh, okay. Good. This I thought that was attached like that. I'm like, oh my yeah. gosh. It's going to be a nightmare to ship it. Okay. That won't be bad. The whole thing comes apart, huh? I don't know if the walls come out or not. I think they, yeah, look, they just kind of slot in there somehow. Okay, well, that's good. I might be able to take uh, that, take see, it all down. It's sold for $44.99. Okay. Sure. All right, good. So. That was part of the $2,000 store buy, too, huh? Yeah, yeah. The stuff we list from that store buy, that it's, sells, man. Yeah, it's been good stuff. Yeah. It has. I, I, it's not awesome, but the stuff we listed from that, it does all sell. Now, we do donate a a we, donated, ton. we have donated a ton we still have a lot left of that buy it's just kind of got pushed to the back burner while we're dealing with all this other stuff we've come had come which, in. which we're but we're making progress oh yeah like i'm about to like you're working on uh garage sale stuff right yeah i'm kind of mixing that in finishing up action figures kind of doing both and today um, i'm gonna um i think i'm gonna crack into the comics down this other aisle yeah I think I'm going to work on that and work on those Archie comics Yeah, and stuff. we have those Archie comics. Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. So let me get this stuff packed up. Well, I get, you know what? Next time, next time I do this, maybe I'll show y'all. But uh, this is actually, it, it looks like two of these small boxes. It's actually three of them. <laughs> I have three smalls stacked. And then I have another box floating in the middle of that with about this much room and then I also reinforce the sides with even more cardboard and paper so uh, I feel and nothing's moving I feel really good about it so I should have showed them huh yeah that was those by the way that's those serving platters on the five pieces um some of them were really big so I, I'm impressed I think it's going to be fine I, no problems I'm not worried at all they paid forty dollars for ship it's going to Washington State yeah and it's, would you say 20 pounds? 20 pounds. They paid 40. I have at least, five, six, seven. I've got $7 just in boxes. Yeah. Here. Yeah. So we'll see. I, I, I mean, I planned on it being this. I'm not complaining. I'm just saying, I'm just stating yeah. facts here. Mm -hmm. Let me see what this postage is going to cost. Okay. So uh, this is one that I'm losing money on because I underestimated how big it would be to ship them all together. What I should have done, although I wouldn't have done this, I should have just estimated the right amount, but I didn't want to pack it before, before I gave the estimate. 
because actually you know what maybe it might it might have been cheaper if i would have done two boxes we kind of talked two. about that also yeah but anyways long story short 52 dollars and 63 cents customer paid 40 so i'm down 12 down uh 12 dollars plus i'm down like seven dollars a box that's twenty dollars plus i'm down um ebay fees on that's about six dollars just on the shipping portion so we're down 26 dollars just on the shipping portion yeah so don't cry suck it up why don't you just take it and repack it in two boxes why don't you do it <laughs> i ain't doing nothing i'm done i'm dumb i'm not even i'm not even complaining i'm just stating facts here yeah i don't i mean i don't I do care. I mean, it was just a bad job by me of either packing too big by a little bit and underestimating the size. So, uh, happens to, happens to everybody. Usually doesn't happen to me. It did this time. If I tried to go, I'll show y'all some other options. USPS ground saver. Uh, it saves you negative $18 over standard UPS ground. <laughs> Three days select, also more expensive. Second day air. This is ground advantage, be $111. If I want to go priority mail, it'd be $149. Wow. So this is this is it. This is the cheapest way to go unless we went FedEx. And I never ship FedEx because I don't think they're very good, at least around here. So uh, still made money on it though, on yeah. the stuff. Yeah. Just don't buy serving stuff anymore. I don't like packing. I didn't that. buy that. What? <laughs> yes, kidding. you did. You bought that from the Facebook ladies. I know. I just, I never imagined somebody would want all those pieces together. Yeah, that's. And, they, uh, okay, here, here's the other disclaimer. Um, so, those buys that I did, I didn't see these things in person. But I still, I still would have bought them if they were cheap enough. They're, I mean, I mean, they're, they're we're still, we're st even after it's all said and done, we're still making probably a hundred dollars on it. Yeah. Even after all, uh, pro uh, maybe 90, 80, 90, yeah. something like that. Yeah. Took me what, about a half hour to pack? Yeah. Okay. Whatever. It's still worth it. But yeah, I misjudged that. Be careful. We all do it. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to day two of the vlog. Good morning, Candace. Hey, good morning. Um, we cut yesterday a little short. We still worked, but Monty wasn't feeling well. So um, we decided to just not film anymore yesterday. And we're going to pick up today back yeah. with the video. I had just a little bit of a, a cold. I uh, got him sick. I'm, yeah, she did. I think. I'm, I'm feeling better today, though. Yeah, yeah. Yesterday, I wasn't feeling great. I'm, I am feeling better today so I far. Don't, I mean, you're, yeah, you're feeling bad, but I don't think you have it as bad as I did. Like, I was running fever and stuff. I very, very rarely, um, since, since I've been doing this, working for myself, I very rarely get sick. I know. It's pretty rare. I, it makes a big difference when you're not out around people every single day. Right. You know, you it, manage to, uh, like, it might Stay lower healthy. yeah although i am like um fooling around with a bunch of used stuff that maybe that's it I mean, it might be the fact that like we're handling all this um used garage sale and estate sale stuff so i might have superior antibodies built up from <laughs> from being a junk dealer yeah yeah you have a superhuman body except for, yeah okay <laughs> except for today yeah. or yesterday yeah but i'm feeling pretty decent today all right so we have some orders on ebay um we didn't sell on any other platforms last night and um ebay sales kind of went slow during the night they yeah um uh, yeah but we've we've had we've had good days on ebay though we have and overall this, and i would say this is probably like our average weekday sales to be honest um and i'm happy with them I'm yeah happy with the numbers oh no it's been yeah. great really yeah. good so um, let's go ahead and get started. The first order has four Hot Wheels on it. Okay. Um, the first two are in the Joe drawer. All right. Yeah, we got to be super duper careful. What are they? Um, number one, Evil Twin. Evil Twin. Okay. Hot Wheels Classics, Evil Twin. Let me make, and I don't think we have another Evil Twin in here. Um, no. No, we don't. That's the only one. Okay. okay. Number 14, um, 56 Chevy. Okay. 
What is this one? Oh, that's a Buick. I think it's going to be this car right here. Move this so I don't mess up the cards. Yep, 56 Chevy. It's got like white flames going. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Okay. And then CC2 is the other two where okay. the other two are number five and number seven. CC2. CC2 is over here. Oh. Oh, it's the box down at the bottom. Yeah. All right. <laughs> I'm going to 2C. <sighs> All right. All right. Get it together. Number five and number seven. This is like. Number five and number seven. Okay, well, I have a number seven right here. Number seven is a purple passion. Yeah. Okay, and then number five, Olds 442. Yes. The paint, the paint on this Olds 442. Look at it. Looks like it's about a foot deep. Look at that paint. Yeah. Isn't that awesome? It's pretty. I think it's cool. Mm -hmm. The card is yellow to Tad. Yeah. Okay, so all four of those cars together sold for eighty-one dollars and nine and eighty. Whoa, yeah, eighty-one dollars and ninety-six cents. Hey, Bravo, Batman, Batmobile, Imaginext. Okay, I have no idea how big this is. Let's see. I don't think it's going to be too big. No, it's back here. All right, need to excavate this guy. I guess I'll take this little thing out for a moment. Here we go. Boom. I'll go back. I will go back and put that stuff back. And that's all for $26.99. Okay. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Yep. And it's in like, it looks like it's in a off the shelf condition too. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Yep. In the guy drawer, we sold Skipper's little white furry cat with a pink ribbon. <laughs> All right. This was before. This, this little fuzz ball, right? Yeah. That sold for uh, twenty-six dollars and ninety-nine cents. It looks like it just looks like a ball of fuzz. I know. It looks to me more like a dog than a cat. Oh, I thought it was a dog. No, it's, <laughs> it's Skipper's white furry cat from the Get Ups and Go collection. In the D and D drawer, GI Joe Crimson Neo Viper figure. And it's this guy. Yeah, he's got like red and black on him. Yep. Is that a cut? That's a cool looking paint job he's got. Okay. He's a, look, come look at him. How cool he's got a little snake. He's a snake hunter. Yeah, he's okay. got his little box to put it in. His little trap. <laughs> I don't know what the story is with that. Um, so that's sold for a fourteen ninety nine. I have like several of those guys complete. All right, uh, Hobbit thirty seven Weirdo Magazine number four. Hobbit thirty seven Weirdo number four. I think. Let me see. Where does it say four at? Um. Is this the cover? Yeah. Okay. Um, seventeen dollars and ninety nine cents. In the chest drawer, we sold a German hiking pin. Oh. Hansel and Gretel. We've been trying to sell this pin for a long time. We got an offer on it. It sold for twelve dollars, right? Yeah. We got an offer on it for twelve yesterday, and I was like, okay, it's time. It's time to let go. It's this right here, I think. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, it's actually really cool though. Very, it is. Uh, yep. very well done. I a like souvenir that. pin. Not little. It's a big pin. Um, six Bravo Latter Day Saints. Um, omnibus, a Mormon omnibus. <laughs> it's three books in one. Book of Mormon. Uh, Pearl of Great. What is it? I didn't put the whole. Thing. Pearl of Great Price. Yeah. I, I know. I know nothing about. So that's three books in one, basically. Is this the right book? It's got yeah. indexed mm -hmm. and all that. Okay. Yeah. Thirty-four dollars and ninety-nine cents for that. Okay. Well, you did good at the. Uh, Candace picked up a few of these mm -hmm. leather-bound Mormon books in yeah. the. In fact, I'm listing one this morning um, for thirty-five. Yeah. Okay. Well, you did really well yeah. there. 
We sold a pattern number P13, five fuck shot. Okay. Move all this unlisted inventory out of the way. P. I double check these numbers too because they keep falling off and see like I think this is probably it. Let me see. Baby square yolks, is that it? Um yes, that's it. See it's got the wrong number on it because they keep the numbers keep falling off. I guess I should have taped them on there. Yeah, that's all right. This is it though, for yeah, sure. That's it. $13 okay. for that one. All righty. CC2 box again. Okay, I Number left it eight. up there. All right. We did see where I... <laughs> I made some mistakes. Yeah, we're about to talk about that. Yeah, I know. But I got in trouble. Uh, is it a drag dairy? A pink drag dairy. It is a pink drag dairy, yes. $32.99. Okay, are we done with this container now? We are. Alright, let me go put this back up. Walmart pin number 30. Okay. Walmart pin season. Yeah, it's not a... Doesn't feel like a complete day in the shed without pulling a Walmart pin, does it? It's kind of our thing. If we're selling Walmart pins, you know spring is coming. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's like a groundhog. Alright, let's see. <laughs> Uh, 30, right? Yep. 28. Uh, past 30. Okay. Uh, Walmart, 2000 and beyond. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's over $9.99. Alrighty. What's next? Our last order has two Hot Wheels on it. Oh, okay. I'll go ahead and put this guy up. This is where I get in trouble. Yeah. I was... I was a bad boy when I was doing these listings. So okay. I came in this morning with my coffee and oh, toast. Oh god, really? <laughs> you don't have to draw that. Please, just make it quick. I came in this morning with my coffee and toast and I sat down to end listings on List Perfectly that had sold overnight and I pull up this location uh, to Charlie C12, and there are three Hot Wheels with that same location. <laughs> I don't know what he did. Oh man, he, oh, you don't have to third, I'm right here. <laughs> Funny enough, this next order has two Hot Wheels on it, and two of them are C12. So figure out which of two of the three are. You, you know what? Okay, all right. I don't have a, what kind of cars are they? Oh, they're both Japan yeah. historics, right? Okay. Okay. That well that it, yeah. I messed up. I don't know what else to say. All right. Uh Japan historics. I think I only have I have these two carded Japan historics are in protectors. I think that's the only two that are in here, so I'm hoping that these are the right two cars that we're looking for. I'll tell you what I have. Okay. Okay. I have a 71 Datsun 510 wagon. Yes. Okay. And that does have C12 on the back. <laughs> then the other Japan Historics I have is a Nissan, Nissan Skyline 2000 GT. It says police. Is it a police? And police. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, good. And that has C12 on it as well. Yeah. You must have listed those the day I was out sick. You just you just can't function without me. Oh god. <laughs> Boy. So that's everything. That's everything. Look at that little bench. Oh, man, that is look at that little what? <laughs> a little bench? Is that what you said? Are you sure that's what you said? Uh-huh. <laughs> okay. Oh man. Boy, it doesn't look that like it was a good sales day, but it doesn't even look like it, does it? Yeah, that's like um four hundred and seventy four dollars worth of sales. Oh my gosh. It doesn't even feel like it. No. Okay, well that that's good though, because that that means I'll be I'll pack this stuff in about thirty minutes and I can move on with my day. Yep. That's pretty nice. Mm -hmm. Let me get to it. All right, we've been listening for a couple hours now, and uh, thought I'd just kind of go through. Candace has been doing. Well, you did some more Bibles, huh? I did a Bible today. Yeah. Just one Bible. Yep. You got more. Somewhere, together, yeah, they're you? on the shelf. Those are just the ones I grabbed yesterday. Okay, and then here's some uh, Build-A-Bear, 
Build-A-Bear. I listed a few tapes. We got those really cheap. And then here's some really good Build-A-Bears here. Hello Kitty uh, for 40 And then, what we pay for these? A dollar a piece, right? Yep. And then this is a really good one here. This Pumpkin Pal, Teddy, Pumpkin Nose, Plush uh, guy, $80. That's pretty amazing. I listed a glove for $25. Uh, Spike the Dragon listed for 15 and I listed this uh, laser scope headset and I only listed it for $40 it was missing like a knob and one of the some of the foam on one of the ears and uh, also I sold it as untested parts only as is no no returns so I think we have five into that and then oh you listed this little music box thing that doesn't quite work yeah it needs oh. to be i don't know whatever's done the music boxes because it the mechanism works but they go the music plays like really fast and they go really fast yeah and then it stops yeah they're like speed skaters yeah <laughs> but yeah uh it is rare it is kind of rare though it's so. very rare it's only been two sold yeah uh 2021 and 22 and then the last thing i've listed today is uh so far is these weird and wild creature cards in these cases we got these both for uh five dollars i listed for 85 and i think i actually think 85 dollars is very competitive price it's these things go see them and that's what the cards look like and uh if you look at the solds for those it, it some people have like uh, we have 502 cards some people have like a thousand cards or so they're getting over oh. like over a hundred dollars well i was impressed with 500 cards <laughs> yeah no no there's more than that i don't know how many i don't know how they sold them i don't know if it was there's, like some kind of subscription there's that many animals in the world well yeah of course well there's way more than that oh really oh yeah i wonder how many there are i don't know i have no clue <laughs> oh. i mean we don't and then there's different like variations within the species and stuff right too. so like say they have a card for a dog do they have a card for a dog or do they have a card for a chihuahua schnauzer pit bull you know yeah i don't know i didn't look at them that close i mean oh. yeah there's a, there's a lot of animals out there y'all <laughs> today we're gonna talk about what what is that like? uh, what is that study biology botany no botany's plants anyway animology animology well get out of here no that's <laughs> not right. zoology is what it zoology is. there you yeah. go <laughs> but yeah um that's something that's something good to look out for uh if you happen to see it i think it'd be pretty rare i've never seen them before that i know of but it's also something i feel like i could have walked right past before not looked up hey we need to list my binders because that same person might want to buy both those things so yeah we have some binders animal cards in them. they're right down to your right yeah these kind of a in the same vein yeah except with pages instead actually those i did not list those cards media mail even though honestly they probably could be it's not like it's educational material like whenever yeah. you get an educational material it doesn't have to be a book right necessarily it could be tapes or whatever like flash cards yeah you know uh, so that why, why didn't you list it because of the case they're in because of the cases and then they did have like some trivia cards in there and stuff which is still education i don't know yeah i don't i, I just felt like i didn't want to skirt the rules and really these days um media media mail is not so that much cheaper in a, a lot of cases anyway i know with the ground advantage yeah, yeah. so um I, I wanted to mention um we had that build a bear and just if you're out because i'm not really familiar with plush i got lucky on that one when i picked it up i had no idea that pumpkin one what it was worth um oh yeah just to give you an example like this is about like the same bear with some kind of all over print like peace signs yeah and he's only worth like six to ten dollars so he's gonna be lotted up huh yeah so just to let you you know just because it has print all over doesn't mean it's worth money i have no idea what makes this one worth that much money probably just the rarity i, mean, I don't maybe so there's a cat out there with that print that's worth like double that so you know what else you know what else i was thinking when you've been listing these 
these stuffed or plush or whatever there were we have we, we had the couple of bags that you see there of plush mm -hmm. we paid a dollar a whack for them yep and we left behind candace went through and just hand picked which ones she wanted yeah how many did you leave behind not a ton i mean there were but any they would just be it's, like plain bears or maybe they were okay. really stained up it looked like a mountain of but there was other me. there was other stuff too but um interesting this is interesting um this thumper is um disney store but it's um disney store uk huh. from london Okay. I have no idea what the price is at because there's no comps. Is there a Disney Store America one that looks just like that? No. There's not? That's what when I did Google Lens, I couldn't cause see his ear is supposed to be it's like... It's designed to be flopped, huh? Yeah, yeah. I couldn't find like that with the tooth. And I'm like, that's weird. So then I really started looking the tag and I saw that Disney Store. It has like the full address for the store in London. So I don't know. I mean, I'm sure it's probably still not worth a ton, but I don't know how to how to do the value compared to a thumper from the disney store here but they don't have a thumper that looks like that no okay no. well yeah that so, might be yeah. kind of desirable maybe i'll just price him up and see if i get any interest and if not we'll just lower the price after a while yeah that's usually our... oh, that's it he has some i can feel some beans oh. in his butt oh, I, thought, I thought it may have like a little electronic thing no, there, like but... you know like beanie baby beans oh uh, that's he's to make him sit yeah he's plush everywhere else and then he has a little that's to make him sit up yeah, he's like weighted yeah look at that yeah the disney store stuff is usually pretty decent yeah. quality yeah so. all right i think that's going to be it for this one thanks a bunch for watching and we will see y'all again very soon bye y'all bye